Hello, welcome back. Let us continue from where we left off in the last class. We were discussing the chronic pain model. So we have derived uh, this equation in the last class. So this is the equation for the periodic potential of this form. Okay. So here the periodic potential has a potential uh, a well width of A and uh, the potential barrier width is B and V0 is the potential uh, barrier height. Okay. So let us analyze this equation. What is the significance of this equation? For that, uh, this uh, Kronik and Penne, they assumed the quantity V0B to be finite. Okay, finite. If you are assuming the, the V0B as finite, then as B tends to 0, as B tends to 0, that means the barrier width is uh, very small. V0B is finite and when B tends to 0, that means this width is very small. Okay. So in that case, what happens to sin, sin H beta B tends to mm, sin H beta B, sin H theta tends to theta. Okay, that means beta into beta times B. And uh, cos H beta B tends to 1. So the value of this will be there. And also what is, uh, what is alpha square? Alpha square is equal to 2m e divided by h cross square. So this is alpha square. Similarly, uh, beta square is equal to, okay. So these are the values of alpha square and beta square. So what is beta square minus alpha square? Therefore, beta square minus alpha square is equal to. Okay. And uh, we know this when b tends to 0, v will be large. v tends to infinity. Okay. Or v will be. So therefore, I think uh, the equation number is 11. For the equation 11 become, this will become, what happens to this equation? Beta square minus alpha square, that is 2 m v0 by h cross square into divided by 2 alpha beta sin alpha a sin h beta b is beta b then beta b plus cos alpha a into 1 1 is equal to k a I have written this equation once more here so this uh, we can simplify this thing so therefore what we are left with this is m v0 divided by h cross square alpha alpha into here b is there sin alpha a uh, let me uh, multiply a on both numerator and denominator so so it will be alpha a so h cross square alpha a plus cos alpha a is equal to cos k a okay here let m v 0 a b divided by h cross square is equal to a, a constant p where p is called the scattering power okay scattering power of the uh, potential barrier uh, so let let me write uh, this equation then as p sin alpha a divided by alpha a 
P sin alpha a divided by alpha a plus cos alpha a is equal to cos k a. So this is equation number 12. So we we got a simple equation P sin alpha a divided by alpha a plus cos alpha a equal to cos k a. So the right hand side of this equation is cos k and left hand side has two terms p sin alpha a divided by alpha a cos alpha a. Here there are two uh, variables alpha and k. Okay. So what is what is alpha? What is the relation between alpha and energy? Here alpha is equal to alpha square is equal to 2 m e divided by h cross square okay. or energy E is equal to h cross square alpha square divided by 2m. Now let us see this equation number 12. The right hand side of this equation number cos k term, this term can only have values between plus 1 and minus 1. So cos k can have value maximum between plus 1 and minus 1. Okay. So the value lies between this. Let us plot the graph of this uh, left hand side against uh, alpha a. We get a uh, graph of this form. So let me rub this off. In the x-axis we take alpha a. In y-axis we are taking the left hand side of this equation. That is p sin alpha a divided by alpha a plus cos alpha a will get graph of this form and uh, the right hand side uh, ha can have value only uh, between plus 1 and minus 1 so if we plot that if this is value 1 this is 1 okay so let me extend this line and the minus 1 uh, line will be this is plus 1 minus 1 is somewhere here so the graph looks like this. So we can find out the allowed value of alpha from this uh, graph. So this value, this region of alpha A is not allowed. Allowed region is between this. Okay. So let me uh, shade this portion. Similarly here also you can shade. And here Here also. So the shaded region uh, indicates the range of allowed value of alpha a. So in this graph, these region are called the allowed region of energy. Sir, so energy band. So this, so this is the first energy band, second energy band. Okay. From this graph, we will get uh, some conclusions, some interesting conclusions. The shaded region is the only allowed range of alpha A. That means allowed range of energy. A is constant. No? Alpha and energy related by this thing. Energy is equal to h cross square alpha square by 2m. So when alpha is fixed means energy is fixed. So the certain range of energy is only allowed. Okay. So these are called energy bands. And these are separated by forbidden energy region called the band gaps. First point is only certain allowed range of alpha A is possible. That means energy is possible. That means so there are energy bands separated by forbidden region called energy gaps. Okay. Next point is uh, when alpha A increases, as alpha A increases, the energy band width increases. This energy band width increases and uh, width of energy gap decreases as the as alpha A increases. Okay. So as
Now let us consider the effect of P. Effect of P on the electrons. Okay. So what happens to this uh, when as what is P? Uh, P is this is uh, the P. Uh, when P when P is large, this uh, graph uh, goes beyond this uh, plus one or minus one. This graph become steeper and steeper. That the width of graph becomes steeper. When this is steeper, then this width will be width will become narrower. Okay, so this width will become narrower. That means the width of the band energy energy band decreases and as p tends to infinity this width reduces to very narrow that means it contain only a single energy level in all these thing contain only single energy level because these are the graph is very steep okay in p is infinity means uh, so the corresponding allowed energy band will be key, will be very narrow okay so there will be only one energy level in this so this become the case of uh, uh, discrete uh, energy levels okay and in this case we can see we can show the energy what is the energy look like we have seen that uh, this become a discrete energy level so uh, as p tends to infinity the when p tends to infinity what is what happens to this equation p so in this equation when uh, uh, p tends to uh, infinity therefore sin alpha a must be 0 therefore alpha a is equal to plus or minus n pi and uh, alpha square therefore alpha square is equal to n square pi square divided by a square which is equal to what is alpha square 2 m e divided by h cross square Okay, therefore energy of the electrons in this potential when P is infinity is energy is equal to E is equal to N square pi square H cross square by 2M A square. Okay, so this is the energy when P tends to infinity so this is the effect so the energy become where n is equal to here in, in this expression n is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc okay so uh, this energy value are now discrete so th there is no bands now okay so these are very specific energy levels discrete energy levels okay now next case is as P tends to 0 When P tends to 0 in the equation number 12 I think 12 the second term only is exists in the left hand side therefore cos alpha a is equal to cos k a that, that means alpha is equal to k or alpha square is equal to k square which is equal to 2 m e divided by h cross square therefore the energy E is equal to H cross square K square by 2M. Okay. Which is equal to H cross K is P, P square by 2M. P square by 2M. So this energy E is equal to E is completely the total energy of electron is completely kinetic. This becomes entirely entirely kinetic. This energy is entirely kinetic. Okay. Now let us show graphically the effect of P. We know as as P tends to as P tends to infinity. Uh, the energy is 
discrete n square h square h cross square pi square by 2 m a square huh? and uh, this will become very narrow and uh, when uh, this energy band become narrow and uh, energy gap will become very uh, wider okay as p tends to zero this the terms in the left hand side become very small so this will be within this range so all the en entire energy is uh, the entire energy is allowed okay so the corresponding energy is completely kinetic so the particle are uh, free particles electrons are free particles so in that case all the energy are allowed because the graph is already within this range let us show this graphically here then p equal to 0 when p is equal to 0 the energy diagram is like this all energy levels are allowed because the value is already uh, below this range plus 1 or and minus 1 within the range plus 1 and minus 1 so therefore uh, all energy continuous range of energy is possible that means the particles are free free particles electrons are free that means no potential energy so all range of energy are allowed now the other extreme case is when p is infinity when p is very large when p is infinity the energy is e equal to n square pi square h cross square divided by 2 m a square so this is uh, proportional to n square when so the first energy level is this is this is the first energy level the next energy level is the next energy level is n corresponds to 2 this is the energy level diagram corresponding to the case of uh, p equal to infinity that means tight binding is there so in this first case free particle no binding here the particles are completely tightly bound to the nuclei okay so uh, this is the case as p tends to infinity well let us take the case of uh, for p uh, is intermediate intermediate value of p intermediate p then uh, this this will become bands the energy levels become energy bands so in the first case p is equal to zero completely free particle just like a particle in a box here the when as p is infinity the particles are completely bounded it's not free and this is the intermediate case so this is the effect of p on these electrons in the periodic potential so we stop here we'll continue the discussion in the next class Now I am going to plot the equation number 12 in our discussion. Uh, we can use this website uh, desmos.com for plotting our function. The function is p sin alpha a divided by alpha a plus cos alpha a. So instead of p I will give uh, value 5, 5 sin x divided by x plus cos x okay so this is the function see we're getting beautiful curve now we want to see that uh, right hand side of the equation number 12 that is cos k a the maximum value we are plotting okay the maximum value is k a is equal to cos k a equal to plus 1 or uh, the minimum value is cos k a is equal to minus 1. So um, let me write y equal to 1. Okay, so this is the and uh, y equal to minus 1. Okay, so this is the function. Hmm? So the, the red line, uh, red graph is the uh, left hand side of the equation number 12 and uh, the other one is the other two are the right hand side maximum value maximum and minimum value of the right hand side you can see that 
allowed value is bounded within these two lines okay so now what is the effect of p if i change this value to 0 so this completely inside this thing that means all energy are allowed no energy region is uh, forbidden okay so that is p is equal to 0 now if we, i'll i'll give p p uh, some uh, instead of 5 i'll put uh, 100 okay so that means this graph will become steeper okay so so this is the so this is the kind of graph we are getting hmm? so this line is uh, y is equal to uh, k cos k equal to plus 1 this. similarly now we can see uh, how the slope of this curve changes with uh, p and p is equal to 1 so the, now this the first energy band this is the first energy band when p is equal to 1 so this is the range of uh, first energy band and p is equal to some thousand see then these are more or like this energy bands are their uh, slope is infinite that means so this is the case of discrete energy levels okay the width of these energy bands are uh, very uh, small so these are discrete energy levels okay so using this website you can uh, you can plot all the uh, functions in our discussion okay i recommend to use this uh, website for uh, plotting other functions as well okay thank you now you can check it out the website is desmos.com okay see you